I can't draw a straight line. I can't even draw a stick figure. I just don't have any talent. I could never do what you do. I hear this kind of thing from people all the time. I truly believe that anybody can learn how to draw or paint, even if you have no natural talent. Let me help you get started. Step number one, just grab a pencil and paper. Seriously, it really doesn't matter at first what you're using. You can take the same pencils that you used in grade school, any scrap of paper, and get started. You don't need anything fancy. That being said, if you find shiny new art materials exciting, maybe it's time for a trip to the art store. A little piece of advice though, if you're like me, I struggled for a long time that I would get some nice art materials, but then I would feel like I wasn't ready to use them. I kept telling myself, I'll use these when I get better. I'll use these good materials when my work is good enough for them. Don't do that. If you're going to get the good art materials and you're going to buy yourself something new, be ready to just ruin it. Just get in there and use it all up. Don't let it go to waste because you might find that the materials aren't in great condition after a long time. Maybe you have a flood and they get damaged. You never know what's going to happen, but your art and your practice is worth that now. So if you're going to get the good materials, go ahead, just use them up. Don't save them for some time in the future. If you just want to start with what's on hand, truly, you're going to be fine. Just grab something and get going. Okay, now step number two, and this is definitely more difficult than the first step. Release your expectations. Something that stops a lot of people from learning to make art is that they don't actually want to learn how to make art. They want to know how to make art. And there's a difference. If you think back to anything that you learned, you know, when you were learning English as a child, when you were learning how to walk, anything that you really learned how to do, it wasn't automatic. It didn't just happen the first time that you tried. You have to try and fail and try and fail and, you know, gradually you get better. And that's just how it is. I think especially if you're learning as an adult, that's a tricky one because we get used to knowing how to do things and kind of being in our comfort zone. So try and release those expectations. Don't worry that you're not happy with what you're drawing. Of course, you're not going to be happy yet. You're just getting started. It's your first try. It's your first time. It really takes a while to develop. So let go of that. Try and let yourself enjoy the process. And instead of focusing on your results in your drawing, focus on what you're learning. Focus on how you're starting to see the world differently and that there's something new happening inside of you in your mind and in your experience of the world. All right, step number three, you have your pencil and paper. You have released your expectations. You're focused on what you're going to learn. So now you need to get an object that you're going to draw and simplify it. I have a couple of recommendations for what you should start with for your first drawing subjects. I recommend that you look for something that is not too perfect. Like if you start with a cube, it's actually really difficult to draw a cube and have it look totally square on each side. Maybe something not too mechanical or man-made, but also I would stay away from things with like a lot of different colors and patterns and stuff like that. Try to choose something that you can easily see a whole abstract shape in. Once you have whatever you're gonna draw, you wanna try and reduce this down to a geometric shape. So take a look at it. Do you see a big triangle? Do you see a circle? Do you see a house shape type of polygon? Look for some really simple polygon. Even if you're using a photo, draw that right on top of the photo and then focus on that simple shape to begin with at first. Now, this in itself is a really difficult skill. So I have created a free mini course. It is in the link below. It is the five day sketch challenge. So if you want help, looking at something and understanding how to reduce it down into a simple geometric shape that you can better sketch out. Check out that link and I will guide you through all the steps. Step number four, keep your shading super, super simple. 
you want to just get a basic shadow half and light half to begin with. You really don't need much more than that. So look for where you can see a shadow shape and try and have it as much as possible all linked together. Rather than a little shading here and there, you want one big solid shadow shape. This is difficult to do because we are really kind of wired to look at all these different details. And as we're looking at something and we're moving our eyes around, our eyes are constantly adjusting and we're seeing light and dark and light and dark again, details and patterns. What we want to do is just boil that down to either it's dark or it's light. And then we can add some variations on top of there. One hint is to blur your eyes when you're looking at something, and that can help group the lights and darks together so that you can see them more easily. I have an entire shading video here on YouTube as well, so give that a check if you have difficulty with this shading aspect. And step number five, get some outside direction. When you're studying drawing on your own, you're usually going to find a spot where you end up kind of plateauing. You might really learn a lot at first and then you feel like you're doing the same thing over and over again and you're not really getting any further. This is because you have your own way of visual problem solving and it's natural and it happens with everybody. So if you are always kind of following your own patterns for how to figure things out, that is not going to give you the same kind of growth as if you start to incorporate other points of view and other ways of problem solving. A couple things you can do is you can take an online course. You can watch YouTube videos like you're doing right now. I also have a free online course that I'm going to go ahead and put in the link below. So if you need help understanding how to draw, this is going to help you out with that. You can also start to work with a coach or with a teacher in some way, shape or form. You can join an art club or show your work to other artists and ask what they would do to improve it. There are tons of valuable videos here on YouTube, so you can learn a lot there. But if you would like something organized and more step-by-step -step that's going to lead you from the beginning to the end to improve your drawing, check out my five-day challenge in the link below, and that is going to walk you through the entire process. I'll be there drawing with you in real time so that you can watch and draw along. You can pause, reverse, replay it if you need to, and I even provide you reference photos. I hope that this video encourages you to get started on your drawing journey. Thanks for watching and check out these other videos if you want to learn more.